Hey, Marty, thanks for watching. Now, I know there are a lot of different ways to generate new customer leads for the business, but because consumer habits have shifted over the last couple of years of the pandemic, uh, I just want to show you how you can leverage a lot of the local internet search volume to bring these leads right through the website. Now, in order to do that, what I've done is just taken a quick couple of searches, and I did bathroom remodeling in Worcester, Mass, and top companies Harvey, and I did kitchen remodeling, and Harvey and Core, and those seem to be the ones that come up on both of these. So I'm taking your website as well as both of those, and I put them all into this tool that I use. And it shows me all the information that Google uses to determine the position in search results that it ranks the websites. So you can just see quickly based on some of these numbers why these companies are at the top of the list and outranking yours. So let me just go through real briefly on what these numbers mean. So as we go through the site, we can see what kind of changes need to be made and how they'll affect its ranking. Now, when Google is determining how to rank a website, it uses two different factors. The first is what's called the authority or trust that it has in your site. Now, this basically boils down to a popularity contest because this authority is gained when other domains or websites refer back to yours and then they create a link that's called a backlink. And this acts as an endorsement that Google uses to build this trust because others are vouching for you. So to give you a quick example, if say the local news station did an article on their website and it said the top five best home remodeling contractors in the Worcester area. And in that article, the reader could click on a link and it would bring them to your website. That's considered one backlink from one referring domain or one referring website. Now, these backlinks can come from a lot of different types of sites, blog posts, editorials, guest posting, press releases. Uh, a really important one that also happens to be free are what called citations. That's any time that your name, address, and phone number appear in an online directory. Those would be like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau. Like I said, they're always free. It just takes some time to find them, register your business, and then input the information exactly as it's shown in Google. So real quickly, you can see just based on the number of links coming from however many websites back to these companies, you can see why Google is trusting them more and placing more authority in them and therefore ranking them at the top of the list. However, there is something to note here. As you can see, there's a big difference in quantity. So quality of these links has a lot to do with it. We need to make sure that we're linking back to websites that are reputable, definitely inside the United States, preferably closer to your local area, but absolutely within your industry. So that way Google can recognize the connection between you and then transfer some of that trust from that website back to yours. So quality over quantity, but obviously at some point there does have to be some quantity to be able to match the, the amount of trust and authority that Google has in the site. Now, the second factor for ranking the website is the content on the page. So we were talking about keywords. So if we take a look here at the competitor, these are all the keywords and phrases that are being typed into Google search that Google is finding on this website, as well as the volume, the number of times per month they're being searched. So this is where I just do a little bit of market research. And what I want to do is find all the highest volume keywords that are relative to the services you offer and the areas you want to offer them in. Uh, so for instance, if somebody is just searching, you know, kitchen remodeling, that's a national keyword. They could be searching from any state in the country and maybe they're just trying to search some information on kitchen remodeling, maybe get some ideas, things like that. But if they're searching for kitchen remodeling, Massachusetts, kitchen remodel MA, these are what I call buyer intent keywords, meaning that they're actually looking for a contractor to do a kitchen remodel. So these are the keywords that we're going after. And then I try to find the high volume ones. So, I mean, just if we just take generic kitchen remodel MA from Massachusetts, that's being searched a hundred times per month. Now, if you are on the, the first page, just like this company, they're in the fifth position, uh, those hundred people a month that were searching would see your website. Now, Google Analytics estimates that of total search volume, you should get at least about 10% of those will convert into a lead. So they're either going to give you a call or fill out your contact form on your website. So we're looking at a, you know approximately 10 leads per month coming in. Now, obviously, you're not going to get every single job. And the scope of the job and the profit margins change with each one. But you can just see how the sheer volume of leads coming in per month can definitely add up to some revenue at the end of the month and at the end of the year. And that's just off one keyword. So then we repeat that same process for all the high volume keywords that you want to be found for, making sure that those are included on the site. Now, there's a formula that Google uses to find these on your page. So if we take a look at it here, as far as the layout, I think everything is great. We've got this header, very clean and easy to read. Uh, all the information people could want in the drop down for your services. It's mobile optimized, meaning it's click to call, which is great because majority of people are on a mobile device. 
Um, as far as Google is concerned, though, it doesn't care what the layout is. It's a, it's a robot. So the first thing it's going to do is just come in and count all the words and text on your page. Um, generally, we recommend about 1,000 to 1,500 words on a home page. Uh, but realistically, it's just on it's based on the competition. You know, we, we want to have more information on your page than the competition, because as far as Google is concerned, the more information or content you have on the page, that means the more of an expert you are, and then the more likely it is to recommend you. It's kind of like the difference between a book and an entire series of encyclopedias. So while Google is counting all the words, it's also searching for all those keywords. So the services you want to be found for, and then the areas you want to be found in. Now, this is where the number of words on the page really comes into play because you only can really have one keyword for every 100 to 150 words of text on the page. So that means the more keywords that we want to add on here, which means just the more information we need to add to the page. Uh, now, also, as Google has gone in and created updates, it's actually now reading the content on your website. So before, we could just list locations and list services, and Google would put two and two together. Now that it's reading the content, we actually have to make sure that the 100 to 150 words of supporting text is actually directly describing this keyword. Otherwise, Google is not going to pick it up. It wants to make sure that it's recommending high quality search results. So it's reading through your content to make sure you actually do and describe what you're talking about. So that way it can recommend that in the search. So um, if we go back to those um, buyer intent keywords, obviously remodeling contractor in Worcester, Mass. Uh, make, maybe rephrase that a little bit, but that's a keyword. But if you just have just remodeling services or like these down here, these aren't going to get picked up because we don't have any content to back them up. And then we also don't have any kind of location modifier uh, to get them to a specific location so we can get those buyer intent keywords. So uh, I don't think this is something that we need to completely throw away. It's just something that we need to rework a little bit so that way we can get those specific keywords in here um, and then try to attract all that traffic. So then that will obviously anytime you know you, somebody does a, a Google search, if you're looking for really quick leads, right up here is you know the, what we call pay-per-click ads. It does get kind of pricey because every time somebody clicks on this, whether they use your services or not, it costs you money. Uh, but this will get you at the top of the page immediately and get leads coming in. Uh, underneath here though, you know this is what we call the map pack. This is completely free to be in. This is based on what's called your Google business profile. If you have one of those set up, if not, we can talk about that. Uh, but underneath here, this is what's called the organic search results. This is where the more trust or authority that Google has in your site, the higher up on the list that you're going to rank. So this is where getting more of those referring, those links from referring domains and other websites helps you climb this list and get to the top. And then regardless of the number of clicks, you know, your, your website will always be at the top. It's working for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week for marketing and never disappears. We just have to basically maintain that authority and trust uh, based on the other companies on what they're doing. So we can kind of keep up with them to make sure that Google recognizes you as more of authority than them. Um, so let me, this is a lot of information. I just want to make sure that we're both on the same page uh, so that when the next time we speak, we can basically, I can talk about a few things and some scenarios and options uh, and we'll both be up to speed. So feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email after you've watched this and we'll take it into the next step further. Appreciate your time, Marty.